Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today I'm taking you all thrifting with me. We're gonna head into the thrift store, see what we can find, and throughout the video I also wanna share with you some tips and tricks, things that I look for at the thrift store, what I leave behind, all of that stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration. Hope you feel like you're shopping with a friend today as we go on a thrifting adventure. Let's head into the store and see what we can find. I of course have my 20% off coupon. First section I am in today is the candle section. I never skip this. I have found some really unique things here over the years, especially my brass candlesticks. I look for brass like this. This is so pretty for Christmas. Gorgeous. I look for unique things like that. I look for brass. Anything that catches my eye, I just always make sure that I have a look here and really look shelf by shelf. Another tip is, like you can see someone was like trying to style something here, but often you'll find things in the wrong places or randomly like at the back of shelves. So this is a really beautiful wood tray. This lantern was absolutely adorable and I almost brought it home but decided to go ahead and leave it behind. And that is another tip I have for you is while you're thrifting, try and be intentional. That's what I do. I feel like I used to just buy all the things that I saw that I thought were cute and that left me with just a ton of stuff. So while I'm thrifting, I ask myself, do I have a spot for this? Do I need it? And can I find it anywhere else for a better price? Because sometimes the thrift store is expensive. Another tip I have is to look at an item and see if you can change it or modify it in a way that works for your space. So this would be a beautiful bookend. All you would have to do is like remove that top piece and you would have something really quite beautiful. This is wood. What does it say the price though? So, oh, $6.99. So you could use it as a candle holder, of course, but just a quick tip is to see is there a way that I could use that in my space. And for me, it would be definitely to remove that and just have this on a bookshelf. Of course, I never miss the planter section. I'm always looking for pottery or even nice shapes of items that I could turn into pottery just by using simple mix of paint and baking soda. So looking past, again, the color. Oh, this is actually quite beautiful and very heavy. Wow, that's so pretty, So looking past the original color and just focusing on shapes is something that I do often. I don't see anything today. Another thing I like to follow is to thrift larger items. I feel like when you're styling a shelf and using these items, it looks so much more substantial if you use those bigger pieces versus a lot of little things. Also never miss an end cap because oftentimes this is where the newer stuff goes, I find. And you can find some really unique things here as well. Just in the kitchen section, I always like to look here. I have found some beautiful crocs. I have found some gorgeous jars. I also love going through the utensils and the kitchen gadgets. I have found some really beautiful things here as well. I love looking for vintage serving ware to add to my collection.
Now, some things that I skip on is plastic items. I just don't thrift those. I feel like you can find something so much better. I really love the color of this frame. I love how it's worn, it has some black detail. I'm thinking for my kitchen, and you could always replace the inside of a frame. So again, look past that if it's not your perfect style, but I think I might bring this home with me. Which leads me to never skip the wall art section. You can find some beautiful, unique pieces here. I love looking for brass and silver in this section. You can find some really beautiful pieces. I also love looking through the dinnerware section, looking for not only everyday items, you can find some really practical pieces for your home, but also those unique kind of vintage pieces. These are so cool. Never skip the lamp section. You can find some great lamps and the front will usually have a bulb for you to test your lamp, so just make sure that it works. I loved the shade, how short it was. I thought that that would look so nice on a kind of more substantial base, but always look here. This is one of my favorite sections to look at. I'm also looking in the corner there on the right-hand side. I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't see that shade. I feel like that's such a cool shade.
I of course never skip the basket section, one of my favorite places to look. The florals, on the other hand, I've never gotten lucky here. I feel like they always look very fake, but I still do have a look, but not a place that I have found much luck in. Then I headed off to the ReStore. It's very close to the Value Village, so I thought I would just have a look. I am on the hunt for a hutch or some sort of a wood shelf to put in my dining room. So I was just having a look here and I thought I would take you along and show you some of the pieces that they have. I don't come here very often. I feel like now that I'm on the hunt for a wood piece, I will because they do tend to have a lot of furniture but i'm just going through and having a look there are some beautiful unique things in the habitat for humanity restore Back from the thrift stores and I thought I would share with you what I picked up. Starting with Value Village, I found the most beautiful basket. I absolutely love how worn this basket is. I love the color of it and just the natural organic detail. I think it's just really pretty. It was $8.99. Of course I had my 20% off coupon, but I just, I don't know. I thought it was beautiful and unique and I was happy to find it. The second item I found at Value Village was these stack of wooden bowls. I thought they were so pretty. I really, again, loved the color of them. I'm working on my kitchen, which you all will see. So excited to share it with you. So I was looking for more just natural organic material to add to the styling of my kitchen. So I could not pass these up. They were $9.99 for five, so a little bit more pricey but the quality of them is absolutely beautiful and I was happy to find them. A couple of clothing items and accessories before we move on to the Habitat for Humanity, uh, cause I did find a couple things there, but I thought I would just share a little inspiration. If you are nervous to thrift clothes or it's not your thing, 
It took me a while to get there. I'm still kind of learning and experimenting. Um, I do find it a little bit more difficult to hunt through the things, but I just happened to walk past this beautiful pair of Levi's denim. I was so happy to find them. Sometimes, like at the end of the aisles, they'll have the clothes that people have put back. That's where you can find like the gems. So I was happy to find these. They were only $14.99. Again, 20% off coupon, but I love them. And I was happy to find them in my size, Levi's, first deal of a deal. So this was a good find. And then just a random accessory. I found these sunglasses, which fun fact, I actually shared over on my Instagram. I recently purchased a pair at Target, very similar for $15. And I found these today for $3.99. $3.99, couldn't believe it. I love the style. We're getting ready to go on vacation in a couple of weeks. So I thought it'd be good to have a second pair and you can never have too many sunglasses, right? One in the car, one in your purse. So thrifting them is always a good option. From Habitat for Humanity, I found this beautiful vintage brass bell. Absolutely gorgeous. I've been looking for one of these. This just goes to show you, never give up on those items that you're looking for because sometimes you find them when you least expect them. And that was this today. I hardly ever go into Habitat for Humanity, but I'm happy I did because I found this for $5 and I think it's just so beautiful and I can picture it styled on some books. So I was very happy to find this. And then also from Habitat for Humanity, I found these really pretty brass frames so gorgeous. I thought they were really pretty. They're solid brass. I have seen picture frames like this on the Mickey & Co website, so very happy to find them today for only $2 each. I think they're gonna look so pretty in our bedroom. I wanna add more family photos and sweet little images of our family around our home. So I thought these were so perfect and I will definitely put them to use. I thought I would just share a few items that I picked up last week. I shared a thrift with me over on Instagram. I just picked up a couple things. I did wanna just add it to this video so you could see what I picked up. Starting off with this beautiful lamp. This was only $6.99 for the base and the shade. Such a steal of a deal. Really like the off-white color of the lamp. I haven't decided if I'm going to change it, like give it a little bit of a flip. Let me know your thoughts if you think it's like too yellow. I do want to warm up my space a little bit more. Um, but yeah, let me know if you would change the base to maybe give it more of a clay kind of terracotta finish or leave it as is but I was happy to find this for only $6.99. I also found this solid brass pillar candle holder at Value Village last week for $3.99, and I never turned down a solid brass piece. I don't have anything like this. I have a lot of candlestick holders, but not the pillar candles, so I was happy to find this. And then I've also shared the last few videos. I'm really into finding stone pieces, and I found this candle holder. This was $2.99, same thrift trip that I found the lamp and the candle holder. And I don't know, I just loved it. I loved the color of it. It's a solid piece. I could use this to hold matches. I could use this to put my rings at the side of the sink when I'm doing dishes, essential oil, so many options. So I took it home because it was only $2.99 and I'm really happy that I found it. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, doing some thrifting. I'm so grateful that you decided to spend this time with me and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and subscribe. I've got some really fun videos coming up like my kitchen. I'm so excited to share it with you all and some other room refreshes that I'm planning just to kind of bring our home all together, giving it that collected, warm and cozy feel that I love so much. So again, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.